German verb conjugation, personal pronouns and regular verbs all in simple present. That's what we're gonna cover in this video right now. Los geht's! Before we actually can start, we need to know the personal pronouns. Personal pronouns in German is Personalpronomen. Personalpronomen. Such as in other languages as well, we have singular, first, second and third person singular, and in plural as well, first person, second and third person in plural. The first personal pronoun is ich. 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 Ich in German is I. The second one is du. 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 Du is you. The third person singular is er. Er. Oder C, C, oder S. In English, er is he, C is she, and S is it. Plural. First one is wir. Wir, wir is we. Wir, wir. Next one is ihr. Ihr, you guys, ihr is you in plural. And the last one is sie, sie. Sie is they in English, sie. There's also another C, capitalized C. Um, this is about the formal version of you, but I will link up another video for this as a card and you can check this out if you want to have more details about formal and informal way in German. All right, so again, ich, du, er, sie, es, wir, ihr, sie. Regular verbs. Auf Deutsch regelmäßige Verben. Regelmäßige Verben. All right, we have infinitive. Infinitive is, in English as well, infinitive is the basic form of the verb. The first verb we start with is kommen. Kommen. Kommen is in English to come. To come. So, how do you build this how do you build the conjugation of regular verbs? What you do is you drop the EN, you drop it, and then you have COM. COM is the base of the verb. So you have ich, ich, COM, and what do you do? You add a E, ich, komme, ich, komme. Du, Du, again, you have the base com, and you add st, st, du kommst, du kommst. Next one is er oder sie, he or she. Again, the base com, and you add t, er sie kommt, er sie kommt. Wir, you have to add en. Wir kommen, wir kommen, ihr, ihr, you have to add a T, ihr kommt, ihr kommt. Sie, they, sie, also you have to add EN, sie kommen, sie kommen. So you see here, the only things you have to do, you have to drop this en from the infinitive, from the basic, and then you have to add for ich a e, for du a st, for he or she, er oder sie, a t, and wir, you have to add en, ihr 
a T and C E N. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing you need to remember for regular verbs. Beispiele, Beispiele, examples. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich komme aus Deutschland. I come from Germany. Er, er kommt aus Frankreich. Er kommt aus Frankreich. He comes from France. Sie, sie, sie kommen aus Japan. Sie kommen aus Japan. They come from Japan. Another regular verb is wohnen. Wohnen. Wohnen heißt in English to live. Ich wohne. Ich wohne. Again, you have wohn, that's base, and you add the I. Ich wohne. Du wohnst. Du wohnst. Er oder sie wohnt. Wohnt. Wir wohnen. Wir wohnen. Ihr wohnt. Ihr wohnt. Und sie wohnen. Sie wohnen. Beispiele. Ich wohne in Taipei. Ich wohne in Taipei. I live in Taipei. That's right. At the moment, I live in Taipei. Sie wohnt in Berlin. Sie wohnt in Berlin. She lives in Berlin. Ihr, ihr, you guys, ihr wohnt in New York. Ihr wohnt in New York. You live in New York. You guys live in New York. Maybe. Question of the day. Wo wohnst du? Wo wohnst du? Let me know down in the comments. Right? Wo du wohnst? Where do you live? Let me know where you are from. Let me know where you live. I'm looking forward to see your comments. All right. That was it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something today. And if it's the case, then don't forget to subscribe below or there. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Bye-bye.